It's a new month with new goals. Time to get this new vision board set up. Let's go. Welcome back everybody to Ange 2.0 where I am teaching you how to improve your life one day at a time. Now, if you had watched my previous video where I made a vision board, it is now time to create a new vision board with new modified goals. If you remember, a vision board is a visual display that contains pictures, printouts, cutouts, of different things that you are aiming for in the near future. As I explained in my last vision board video, it is very important to make sure that the goals that you are setting are made not too far ahead of time. What happens when you do set them too far ahead is that they often become unattainable, which can become very discouraging to you and will increase the likelihood that you abandon those goals. And as a quick recap, we have a few different vision boards that you can work with. The most common is having a at an actual board, a display, either a poster board, foam board, something that you can easily put your pictures on. Another version of a vision board is a digital vision board, which is exactly what it sounds like. Instead of having a physical display, you have a digital file that you copy and paste your images onto. The vision board that I created last time was a physical vision board, but I decided to make it a little bit more decorative and put my objects into a shadow box. That way, anytime I revisit it and make changes to it in upcoming months, then I can just remove the backing, place my new pictures and objects, and then have it look beautiful for the rest of the month. We are gonna do things a little bit differently this time with this month's vision board. I have some things that I want to add to this vision board, but I'm also adding an additional step. So you're gonna to wanna to stick around to the end of the video to hear what that step is so that you can make sure that you are maximizing your vision board's potential. So this was last month's vision board. And as you can see, there are only a few images on here, which is exactly the way it's supposed to be because you want to make sure that the goals that you're setting for yourself are small and something that you can accomplish within a month. Some of these pieces I will be reusing for this next vision board, but I plan to switch up the majority of them. So let's go ahead and get started with our new vision board. So here we have our vision board from last month and I'm gonna go ahead and cut out and paste the new images onto my Shadowbox vision board. So here I have my main goals for this new month. I'm striving to get 100 subscribers on YouTube. My next book is going to be Atomic Habits by James Clear. I want to improve my editing skills for my YouTube videos. Fitness and health is still one of my main priorities. And then I want to make 300 extra dollars this month. Something new I'm going to be doing this month is I'm going to be adding string lights to my shadow box so that I can give it a little bit more flair, um, nothing too crazy, but something to spice up the shadow box a little bit.
finished our vision board, we do want to add that last important piece that I mentioned earlier. So for this month, one thing I'm doing extra that I didn't do last month was I followed my vision board up with a tracker. Now this digital tracker helps me reflect on the goals that I've been completing and then marks them off so I can see the progress that I've made. I could absolutely just do the things that I said I was going to do, but it's also harder to track that if you're not using anything. You're just going off of your memory. You can't really see anything concrete of what progress you've made and that's where this digital tracker really comes in handy. It's super easy to use, no fluff, just checking boxes and then you can see what percentage of your goals you have attained over that week and then ultimately that month. So as you can see, I have already started my March monthly goals tracker and up at the top in the highlighted section, you can see that I have the three main goals that I'm striving for. So I picked three because again, we want to make sure that these are attainable goals. They're not too far ahead of time or too many because then it becomes less likely that I'll be able to do them. So I want to increase my monthly income by $300, exercise six days a week and improve my YouTube skills. So under week one, what I'm doing is I'm doing two sub goals in order to reach that main goal. So for number one, I want to increase monthly income by 300. So I'm going to complete user testing tests. That video, in case you missed it, I'll put the link up where you can find out what user testing is and how it can help you. It has really helped our family. So I'm going to continue using that. Uh, I'm saying I'm doing this five days a week. As I check these off, you can see that this success rate will go up based on how many times per week I'll be doing it. Also, I'm gonna be posting things on Facebook Marketplace so that I can sell what I have in the house that I don't necessarily need anymore. And hopefully that contributes to that extra $300. That I wanna do once a week. I'm going to be working out almost every day. So I've quit six times a week and hopefully I can meet that goal for this week. Strength training, um, that's more weights and things like that. And I want to do that four times a week. For improving my YouTube skills, I want to improve editing technique. And this is something I want to do at least five days a week. And when I do that, you'll see that this success rate number will change. So right now it's at zero. And again, it will change based on how many times I check the boxes with this number being the total. And then lastly, I'm gonna put brainstorm at least five ideas a day and that's going to be to help me with posting on youtube and reels so i'm going to enter seven days because i want to do five ideas per day for seven days so we're starting off the month with week one i have my goals here week two these might change but for now this is what i'm going to be focusing on i feel like these six goals are something that are reasonable and achievable. If there are any notes, I can add them in this space, but it's pretty straightforward. This is the part that's going to make a big difference when it's done in addition to the vision board, because now it's not just having the visual, but it's having the accountability piece as well. So there is our new vision board for the new month. I hope that you enjoyed watching this. Hopefully you were able to get some inspiration from it to create your new vision board for the upcoming month. And if you're interested in the digital tracker, I'm gonna put the link down in the description below if that's something that you feel could help you out as well. As part of this month's new vision board, I'm also going to be revisiting the financial piece of it and showing you how I'm able to make more money each month in different ways. If you're interested to learn more about that, you can check out my next video that's coming up and hopefully those strategies are also helpful to you as well. Thanks again for watching and remember, when it comes to improving your life, it is never too late to start. See you next time.